Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my picks for Simplicity Spring 2013. My first pick is 1650, the peplum chic dress. If you haven't already got one, this is a great opportunity for you to pick one up. What I like about this dress is the princess seams. It's easy for you to adjust the bodice area. I also like that you could color block the sides of those panels and if I was supposed to make it, I would make it in view B because of that V neckline, it flatters a lot of body types. My next pick is 1651, I like view B. Now Vogue Patterns also release a similar pattern to this which lets me know that this style is going to hit the stores very soon. It looks like a dress that you can make today for tomorrow or tonight for tomorrow and you know we love those easy dresses in the summertime. My next pick is 1653. This faux wrap dress was already released as part of another simplicity pattern wardrobe. If you haven't gotten it yet, this is a great opportunity if you are only interested in getting the dress. I love raglan sleeves on a wrap knit dress because it's like a softer shoulder and it does flatter a lot of body types also. I'm all about the faux wrap dress. Everything is concealed and there's nothing exposed. I absolutely adore 1654. All those seams are going to make for a fabulous dress. My only thing is that I really wish that it came with a straight skirt option. And this means I may have to go dig into my patterns and see if I could find one to swap out the full skirt version for. It is truly a designer pattern. It is all over the runways right now. I also like 1656 View A. What I like about this pattern is that it looks very simple. It looks like it's been done many times before, but a dress like this has so many possibilities when it comes to choosing fabrics. I would make this dress in a to the knee short version. It could be as subtle as a cotton dress or some type of high shine metallic taffeta. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. When I saw 1658, I thought this is a girl's night dress. It's something that I would see in BB, Arden B, BCBG, those type of stores. I even like that Simplicity showed it in the chiffon top with the sequin bottom. It definitely showcases that it is a party dress. When I saw 1660, I thought perfect summer pullover. Now you remember that McCall's knit top I made and I made both of them. Yeah, you remember that. This is the same type of thing going on. Example view E. That's exactly what I see when I look at that view. And I also like B because once again, you could play with those um, strips of fabric and do like a collar block or the mix print in solid, what they're calling print blocking. I think it would be pretty interesting. I know a lot of people are going to pass over 1664. When I look at it, I don't really see much I like except for view E. Now I did post a post about the cocoon shape and it's everywhere. It's Burberry, it's Burdem, it's all these designers are doing this cocoon shape sleeve for their jackets. And Simplicity kind of teased us with it. I may not do that color because that color doesn't really flatter my the shape of my face. But even without the color, I think that this is a cute jacket to bring in that trend into your closet. 
And my last pick is 1668. I think that this pattern has the potential to be another 1810. You remember when I did that one last summer? I like view A, the dress, view B, and I also like view E. I think I'll definitely make view A because I could see myself wearing that. And once again, it is summer, so probably with some sandals. You know, it looks like a great dress to go shopping, go hang out at the beach, just go all over the place. And of course, B, just a nice top to wear with jeans, wear underneath something else. You know how it is. Um, so I will definitely be getting that pattern. That is my must have out of everything here. And I hope you guys enjoyed my picks as always. Um, like the video if you do. And I'll be back next week with another review. Goodbye.